Hi everyone, Pastor Rod here, doing a series on Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. I believe we're sons and daughters of God. We, we have a good father, and God's will is a good will. Here in Japan, we, uh, we love a scripture from Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, it's God speaking, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for a future and a hope and not for evil. It's a really important verse here in Japan because Japanese don't know God and they don't know um, God's will. They don't know God's nature. Um, they're very open. They just don't know. That's why we're here. <laughs> um, but when we show them this verse and we say, is there a God? And they say, I don't know. We say, well, let's read on. If God has a plan. We say, would that be good or would that be bad? And they always say that would be good. So people seeking God, if God is good and God has a plan, then the plan is good. And that's what the scripture is saying. God is saying, I know the plans I have for you, plans for future and a hope and not for evil. And some people say, well, what if bad things happen? And I say, well, yeah, they do. Stuff happens all the time, but we have to maintain our belief in a good God and a good plan throughout life's ups and downs and difficulties. I think it's a big part of maintaining our sanity and our concept of vision for life is that we say God is good. And so understanding the will of the Lord. I've got, I've got another scripture here. I, I just love it. It's pretty amazingly clear. What is God's will? It says in 1 Thessalonians 5, and verse 18, give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you and me in Christ Jesus. What's God's will? To give thanks in all circumstances. Now, this doesn't mean I give thanks for bad things. It means in that season or moment, I don't lose the concept of giving thanks. Now, this is very difficult when there's grief and and sickness and very, very, very difficult things. I'm a pastor and I I see this, this pain, but still at the same time, I have to say to people, there's still a future. We, we have to move forward over time. It's not like just, just casually get over it. I don't mean that, but it's, it's a deep level. Don't lose the sense that God is good in the grief or the pain or the disappointment. And some people do get disappointed and they leave the faith or they leave. And let me say, in a time of darkness or grief, to be away from God is even worse. It's like I'm in grief and now I'm away from God. It, see, God is a source of comfort and, and a source of wisdom and a source of goodness. And so even in the hard times, I've got to wake up and, you know, I, I read the Word of God just a little bit every day. Well, I actually read a lot. But um, as part of my day, I read a little bit and say, Lord, speak to me today. I did this over this, this verse. Lord, speak to me today that even though there are hardships in, in my life and um, things that I'm praying through, I still want to give God the thanks. And that's how I wake up. I start praying the Lord's Prayer, which starts like saying, Our Father in heaven, holy, set apart, amazing is your name. That's the first part of the Lord's Prayer is staying in thankfulness. No matter what else I'm going to pray, I'm going to say, Lord, your name be amazingly lifted up. And then we start to pray through your will be done and uh, whatever the Lord's prayer is, it's, it's amazing. But starting out, giving thanks, even in a hard time, makes it easier, better, and more comfort, more counsel, more strength of the Holy Spirit. So let me get back to the verse and we're going to pray. The verse says, let's live in understanding of God's will. And it's such a big topic, but I want to say the first step is staying thankful and staying hopeful, full of hope, Christian hope, hope for the future in God, staying on that side no matter what. And if we're having a great time, just keep thanking God. So I believe this is the beginning of wisdom and the beginning of understanding the fear of the Lord and understanding the will of God for our lives. Let me pray. Lord, I pray that we would be thankful no matter what we're going through and staying thankful and encouraging thankfulness in our families. I pray, Lord, I would be a thankful person and understand your will right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for that for all of you. God bless. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed today's episode with Pastor Rod, why don't you subscribe on whatever platform you are listening to this and we'll see you next time.